Hey everyone, my name is Serenity Hart and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. This project, Topless Tour to Canada, is a cross-country demonstration of equal rights for women. I started about two years ago when I was posing for a photographer outdoors and realized the attention I was creating. And I wondered, if I was a man, would people look and react the same way? What is so indecent about my chest? You think of, I don't know, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, William Wilberforce, the people who've changed the world. And then we have a woman who takes her top off in public. Now, I get all the worst jobs today. I went to interview Serenity Hart. I'm sure it's her real name, who is a topless activist. And I'll uh, well, take a look. Disrobing now, which I've got to tell you is incredibly courageous because it's really quite cold out here. And I probably feel more, I'm more self-conscious than you are. <laughs> Most people are. <laughs> Is that true? Yes, most people are more weirded out than I am about okay. the whole thing, for right. sure. I'm still a Catholic, I take my faith very seriously, and this is a professional job, and uh, I'm, I'm, looking, right. I'm looking around here to see what the reaction is so far. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the camera phones, the camera phones come out and people um, sort of want to snap pictures and figure out what the hell it is right. I'm doing, and that's sort of what my discussion is about, that, you know, if I was a man, they would never take out their phone. You know, it would sort of just be another person that was being interviewed, but because I am a female, um, there's this, what, what, what's going on, right? So right. that is a part of the discussion, the reason why I'm doing the tour. Right. But of all the issues, you know, poverty and racism and injustice and war, I mean, the right to go topless, is that really so important? Um, it is important to me, and it's important because of the stigma that's attached to it for women, and I'm a strong feminist, I've been working as a nude model for over seven years, and to me, it's, it's, it does mean a lot to me, because I feel like, you know, it's just that double standard, that men would be, great, would be really cool about it, you know, women going up being topless, but if it was their mother or their daughter or their sister, they'd have these hang-ups about it. So that's why it's important to me. The, the great campaign for, for, for gender equality and for feminism, right. that's really come down to a woman in a public square taking her top off? No, it doesn't. But this is how people are going to start talking about it. And that's what my main focus is. Why, like, why, why do you want to be topless? <laughs> I mean, it's cold. I mean, well, I know it's are... cold now. Yes, I totally agree with you. I know that it's freezing now. I'm just talking about the discussion. And for me to form a discussion, I need to do something drastic. And that's me being here outside. Now, at this point, a security guard approached us in Dundas Square and said, this is private property, you have to leave. I argued for a while, but I felt a bit of a boob, so I decided that the better part of valour was to move across the street, where we continued the interview. You're going across Canada to raise money? Yes. Um, well, not to raise money. The raising of the money is going to happen before I go across Canada, and that is going to allow me, the, I guess, the funding to be able to do the entire tour. So driving from one place to another and talking with people that, one, don't know that it's legal for women to be topless, and the idea that women know that it is legal and the stigma that's attached to it. You know, it's, it's, it's funny because I, most of the people to, who do interview are men, and they have no idea what it is to be a woman. So, you know, they're sort funny of throwing that, isn't this... It? <laughs> they're sort of throwing this idea at me that, you know, they don't understand what's going on because they're not, they're not me, you know, they're, yeah. they're not another female and they don't know what it's like to be catcalled out. How do, how do other women react? I mean, I know women who might support you, I know a lot of women who think, with all due respect, yeah. this was just a neurotic uh, solipsism. Um, they're going to think that, and I do think that this has a lot to do with our upbringing and the idea that we've been told that our body is something that we need to preserve for a man yeah. and that that's the only time you need to expose it. And I can't own my own sexuality because if I do something like this, it's about my breasts because, or it's about me looking for attention. This has nothing to do with attention. This has everything to do with women being liberated enough to do it if they want. Forgive me being a cynic, but I think it has quite a lot to do with attention. Of course you do. I knew you were going to tell me that. So you're clairvoyant as well, <laughs> as well as top, a topless clairvoyant who gets better all the time. Why did you know, or why are you saying you say that you know that I was going to say that? Because that's how people feel. You know, when you don't understand something, you're constantly going to attach it to something negative. Uh, now, uh, just the top, what about the bottom part? Is that to be exposed as well? <laughs> It's not going to be exposed in this tour, however. Um, I'm not going to expose it because of the indecently, indecency law right. that is in place for... So you, you, if the law was for, different, you would? Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. I, I am a nudist, for sure. Oh, and, you are a nudist? Yes, I am. Now, does that differ from a naturist? Um, it goes hand in hand, for sure. Right. Okay, so you, you think, what, we, we are liberated when naked? I think for sh we weren't born with any clothes, definitely, yes. No, we, we weren't born with chemotherapy, either. That doesn't mean we don't use it. <laughs> We weren't born with a car, of doesn't course. mean we don't drive. Of course. Come on, that's a fallacious argument. Of course. No, I'm just, I'm saying that it's, it's a very natural thing to be naked. That is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on the person. Me being naked will be a war crime. 
Well, I mean, it's it's still natural, yeah. regardless of whether it's yeah. a war crime or not. It's still a natural thing. But, come, but you, you know, you're an intelligent woman. Disease is natural. All sorts of things are natural. Right. Incredibly harmful. Right. Being natural does not mean that something is good or desirable. No, it's not a matter of being good. It's a matter of it being what it is. That's the point, is that it is what it is. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is right or wrong or it's good or bad. Yeah. I'm saying it's what it is. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Keep Thanks warm. Me. Wrap up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She was nice enough. I mean, she wasn't Kierkegaard, for goodness sake. I, and I don't think for a moment she actually understood what a neurotic solipsist meant. But that's another issue. However, we did meet some philosophers on the street because we asked people what they thought. And most of them said, yeah, good or yeah, bad. But there was one guy, and we'll end with this, who I thought was absolutely brilliant. What, what, do you, what do you think these ladies being topless here? Fantastic, sir. Legal. Constitutional law. Legal. Yeah. Thank you. That's quite, quite, quite nice, actually. Thank you very much.